Today, we also learned the worst fears of those firefighters came true. Rodney Collett died just weeks after being injured while fighting one of those fires. Part of a tree fell and hit him. WIMT's Caleb No talked to a family member. Engraved on a bench outside the Bell County Fire Department are the words, Fallen Heroes. We are told that's where you will soon find 41-year-old Rodney Collett's name. If there was anybody on the earth that was just a good, good person, it was Rodney. We are told part of a tree fell and hit Collett while he was working with the Redbird Volunteer Fire Department to put out a fire in Leslie County. Collett stayed in the hospital for more than two weeks before he died Thursday night. Collett was doing what he loved to do when he was injured, and that's fighting fires. Other firefighters who knew Collett say he had a true passion for it. Collett spent around two years with the Bell County Volunteer Fire Department, mostly training, but did most of his work with the Redbird Fire Department. He was so dedicated to the Volunteer Fire Department at Redbird and at Bell County also and it was always recruiting new people um, to volunteer for their services. Of course, Collett's legacy will not only live on through his name on the list of fallen heroes, but through his memory in the minds of everyone who knew and loved him. In Bell County, Caleb No, WYMT Mountain News. No word yet on funeral arrangements.